How's it going guys? It's Jeff with Rogue7Tech Support. I'm bringing you a video um, because I had a question asked of me and it's a question that I get very frequently so I'm going to answer it in a video um, so everybody can see the answer. Uh, the question is in the MS config um, option there's a, an advanced boot up option where you can, if you have a multi-core processor, can uh, appoint more than one um, processor to the boot up and if this would make your startup time increase at all uh, the simple answer to this is no it will not uh, this rumor and myth started from a Chris Perillo blog to in response to one of his readers question and uh, with the power of suggestion and his lack of real-world technical experience I know I'm going to get a hell of a lot of comments for that statement, but it's true, his lack of experience in a real-world technical position um, kind of blew this up into a, uh, a myth that a lot of people are seeing now in YouTube and a lot of other video blogs. I'm going to explain why this doesn't work. Um, this I'm going to be reading from a website, this is a Microsoft website, so it's legit. And it explains the boot sequence and what happens when your Microsoft system boots up and in which order on a multi-core processor. The first thing that starts up on any Windows computer is something called the HAL INTIT system, um, which is set up to prepare the system to accept interrupts from devices and to enable interrupts. The second thing to start up is the video driver which boots from your bootvid.dll in your system32 file. Uh, the third thing that boots up is the power management initialization. Uh, the, th the fourth thing to start is your system time is initialized by calling the HAL query real time clock uh, and then stored as the time the system booted. Uh, and the very last thing that happens in your boot sequence is uh, a multi-core processor, the remaining processors are initialized and execution starts. So in your boot time, your processors are the last thing that actually are initialized. So that would be the reason why this will not affect your boot time at all. Um, and anything that loads other than this, um, um, I'm almost positive that you wouldn't need more than one processor to handle, so it would never actually use your second processor. Uh, so this is the reason why using more than one processor on boot up will not make any changes in your um, in your boot up time. I'm really sorry to say that, uh, but if you need more details, you can grab a copy of. Um, something called Windows Internals, and I'll leave the link uh, in the sidebar for you, and uh, you can read for yourself. It's uh, What I just read is something from Chapter 5, which is the Startup and Shutdown. Uh, it's page 267. So you can go ahead and read that for yourself, and any comments about my diss on Chris Perillo can just be left in the comment box below, as I'm sure I'll probably get some. Anyways, my name is Jeff, Rogue7 Tech Support, bidding you farewell.